Hi dear friends, how are you all? Welcome to YouTube channel HR Tutorials India. In this video, we will be discussing what is ITR, income tax return. Many don't know what actually ITR is. So in this video, I will be giving a brief and detailed explanation about ITR and also the different types of ITR. What is ITR? ITR stands for income tax return. An income tax return form is a document that is filed with the tax authorities. It comprises your earnings, expenditure and other tax related details. Income tax returns ITRs simplify you to determine your tax liability, pay your taxes and claim refunds in case you have paid excess tax. In simple words, ITR stands for income tax return and income tax return is a document which is filed with the income tax authorities. And ITR consists of earnings expenditure and other tax related details. ITR helps an individual to know the tax liability and helps in pay the taxes and also helps in claiming the refunds in case if the tax is paid in excess. The form depends on your income and in certain instances where you hold assets in other foreign countries or the international earnings. There are different types of ITR forms and it is important to know that you need which form to file ITR. ITR depends upon income and also in some instances where one holds assets in other foreign countries or international earnings. And there are different types of ITR forms which need to be filed by individuals. So before filing, one should know what are the different types of ITRs. Why should an individual file ITR? Now let us see why actually an individual should file an ITR. In India, it is mandatory for individuals to file ITR in case they fall under the below mentioned categories. In case the gross income of the individual is more than the details mentioned in the table below. For individuals below 60 years, 2.5 lakhs is the limit. For individuals above 60 years and below 80 years, the limit is 3 lakhs. And for individuals above 80 years, and the limit is 5 lakhs. So these are the limitations of income earned by individuals. Beyond this, if an individual earns with respect to the ages, it is mandatory for an individual to file the ITR. If you have more than one source of income like house property, capital gains, etc. If you want to claim an income tax refund from the department, if you have earned from or have invested in foreign assets during the financial year, if you wish to apply for visa or a loan, if the taxpayer is a company or a firm irrespective of profit or loss. So these are the conditions which makes an individual to file ITR. What are ITR forms? Now let us see what ITR forms are. An ITR form is a form that taxpayers use to file information about their income earned and the tax that applies to the income tax department. The department mandates different tax return forms for different types of taxpayers based on the factors like total income, taxpayer category, income source. So these are the three different factors depending upon which the income tax forms are filed by different types of taxpayers. There are seven categories of tax return forms from ITR 1 to ITR 7, which means there are seven different ITR forms, types of ITR forms. Now let us see what are the different types of ITR forms are. ITR Form 1, ITR Form 2, ITR Form 3, ITR Form 4, ITR Form 5, ITR Form 6, ITR Form 7. Now let us see in detail about each ITR form. ITR Form 1. This written form is for a resident individual whose total income is less than 50 lakhs for the financial year 2021-22 from the following. Income from salary or pension or Income from one house property excluding cases where loss is bought forward from previous years or Income from other sources excluding winning from lottery and income from race horses Agriculture income up to 5000 So an individual whose income is below 50 lakhs and the source of income is from salaries, pension, house property and other sources including agriculture has to file the ITR form 1 ITR form 2 ITR 2 is for the use of an individual or a Hindu undivided family HEF whose total income for the financial year 21-22 includes income from salary or pension or income from house property or income from other sources including winnings from lottery and income from race horses. These are the sources of income through which an individual earns the income for the financial year 2021-22. Total income from the above should be more than 50 lakhs. So an individual or a HUF has to file ITR form 2 whose income is more than 50 lakhs for that specific financial year. If you are an individual director in a company, if you have had investments on unlisted equity shares at any time during the financial year, being a resident on ordinarily resident RNOR and non-resident, income from capital gains or foreign assets and foreign income. Agricultural income more than 5000. So these are the sources of income where ITR form 2 has to be filed. ITR form 3. 
the current itr3 form is to be used by an individual or an huf hindu undivided family who have income from proprietary business or the or are carrying on profession the persons having income from following sources are eligible to file itr3 carrying on a business or a profession if you are an individual director or in a company if you have had investments in unutilized equity shares at any time during the financial year written may include from house property salary pension and income from other sources income of a person as a partner in the firm so these professions are business proprietors has to file the itr form 3 itr form 4 the current ITR 4 is applicable to individuals and HUF partnership firms other than LLPs which are residents having income from a business or profession. It also includes those who have opted for presumptive income scheme as per Section 44AD, Section 44ADA and Section 44AE of the Income Tax Act. However, if the turnover of the business exceeds 2 crores, the taxpayer will have to file ITR 3. ITR Form 5 ITR 5 is for firms, LLPs, limited liability, partnership, AOPs, association of persons, BOIs, body of individuals, artificial judicial person, AJP, estate of deceased, estate of insolvent, business trust and investment fund. So all these have to file the ITR form 5. ITR form 6. For companies other than companies claiming exemption under section 11 income from property held for charity or religious purposes this return has to be filed electronically only form 7 for person including companies required to furnish return under sections section 139 4a is required to be filled by every person in receipt of income from property held under the trust or other legal obligations wholly for charitable or religious purposes or in part for such purposes Section 139.4b is required to be filed by a political party with total income without giving effect to the provisions of Section 139a exceeds maximum amount. Section 139.4d is required to be filed by every university, college or other institution which is not required to furnish return of income or loss under any other provision of the section. Section 139.4c is required to be filed by every scientific research association, news agencies, associations or institutions under Section 1023a institutions under section 1023b medical institutions hospitals universities funds and other educational section 139 4e must be filed by every business trust which is not required to furnish return of income or loss under any other provisions of this section section 139 4f must be filed by any investment fund referred to in section 115 ub it is not required to furnish return of income or loss under any other provisions of this section how to file an income tax return? Depending upon the income type, income amount and tax payer category, you will have to fill the relevant form. Once you have figured out the form you have to fill, you can follow these steps. Download and click Form 26 years. This form is a tax passbook that will include all tax details deducted from your income during the financial year. Check Form 26 years for errors and rectify them. Calculate total income for the financial year. Calculate tax liability after applying tax rates. So by having all this information, you can file the income tax returns. So dear friends, hope you understood what is ITR and what are the different types of ITR forms. So by now you might have understood what are the different types of ITR forms and which ITR form is applicable to you as per your income and source of income. If you have any queries or questions related to this video, please do comment in the comment section. I'll be happy enough to answer all your queries. And if you like this video, please do subscribe and share among your friends. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice day.